grow, go for what you know. Bass skin low when we rock the show. Hey bro, go for what you know. Bass skin low when we rock the show. For the land of the free and the home of the Hey, who's in there? Hey, hey, who's in there? Hey. Woo! Um, I'm Tanner. This is Elijah. Hello. We came out to watch uh, the Toros play ball, and I have a few friends who play for the Toros, and his dad is a coach, right? Mm -hmm. I'm hoping we completely crush Chico, just like beat him 100 to nothing. You guys. Here with the Tucson Old Timers baseball team, and we have 60 years and older, all the way up to 89. Everybody's doing fine. We got some hurts and aches and pain. We love the Toros. I was up at the Diamondbacks a couple weeks ago, and this looks just as good as the Diamondback game. I'm here. Nice to have them back. Oh, no. Well, I started playing when I was 16 years old. And no matter where I went, I learned to play baseball. I was in World War II and played baseball in Australia and New Guinea and, and all over. And uh, I just enjoyed the game. 26 years I've been playing. We've been playing baseball our, our entire lives. And we just love to get out there. I, 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 haven't, I haven't stopped playing my whole life. That's his age. <laughs> That's right. I've been wearing my age on my back since I was 55. Glad it's opening day, we're having a good time. Amazing. It's fun, it's good to have them out for uh, Tucson, with the community, just to have a good baseball team out here. That you get to hang out with everybody, and see Tuffy, Tuffy. Tuffy. watch people. Tuffy's it's fun. Lovable, he yeah. is, he's a good They're guy. <laughs> Max, now just do a regular shim sham. Go. Okay, hold it. We're Tucson Stars on Tap. Tap sensation. Shuffle, hop, kick, hop, change. Kick, hop, change. Flap, flap, change, stomp. Like this. The ladies that dance, uh, they range in age from like 46 to, I think Rivas was 83. My name's Mary Wells and I'm 71 years old. My name is Kay Thompson and I'm 80 years old. My name is Mary Wisely, and I am 70 years old. I'm Eva Sherman, and I'm two months shy of 83. Reach, reach. Well, I've always wanted to be a dancer. It makes my head think, and it makes my body move. <laughs> well, it uh, makes me happy to dance, and it's something that I just really enjoy. And you know, there have been times when there are stresses and uh, you know, difficult times in your life, and dancing kind of helps me get through that. I had a knee replacement about six years ago. In uh, 2001, I had necrotizing fasciitis, which is the flesh-eating disease. 
it was on my buttocks, which isn't a bad part. There's lots of flesh there. My prosthetic is right here. As yeah, a little bud. <laughs> and in 1998, I had uh, breast cancer and had my right breast removed. In 1999, I had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma on the top of my head, and I still have two bald spots on the top of my head from that. Uh, fortunately, all the cancers I've had are ones that are treatable. Three years ago, I lost my husband, and, and you know, dancing after that uh, brought some joy in my life. And the ladies bond together, and we support each other when somebody loses a husband or goes into the hospital. It's just a huge support group, plus it's the joy of dancing and the wonderful music that Frank finds for us. Surviving life, you take one day at a time and thank God for each day that you have and you just have to take whatever is dealt with you and deal with it. To be able to dance as long as I can, and then when I can't, I'll, I'll just have to give it up, and I'll just be lucky that I've had the years I've had. All right, in the clump, here we go. All right. I didn't like it when I first started seeing it. And then as I got into it, watching it, it hooked me on Shakespeare. It was amazing. Only the best for us. <laughs> the crowds are terrific. Every night that we've been out here in this gorgeous park, we've seen the sunsets, we've had the cool breezes. It's been so much fun to do. This is all about good friends and good food. And great food. <laughs> I'm the... Oh, and a great show. We've taken Julie Caesar, the tragedy, the one that everybody reads in high school, the one that everybody goes, oh, et tu brute, and all that stuff. We've set this in a corporate world called Rome, Inc. No longer that loose confederation of city-states. Rome, Inc. is providing the world with a new generation of executive soldiers. So in a sense, it really is very uh, timely. Uh, because it's Shakespeare, we get a nice cross-section of actors. I think they like the challenge of it. I play um, Calpurnia, Caesar's wife. I moved here from Alaska and did Fairbanks Shakespeare Theater for about eight years, mostly supporting roles, and so I'm like thrilled to be <laughs> playing such an awesome role. In my real life, I'm a librarian. I work for the public library as a clerk, and um, uh, as a profession, I'm a librarian. Pat is, uh, I, we're using this costume just to show kind of our basic design concept um, because we have kind of a private uh, military corporation. Um, we try to keep the element of a corporation, which is the suit, and kind of combine that with a military look, which where we put just a little bit of rank and we change the uh, shirts to give a higher collar. Our costumer also works for Arizona Opera. The technical crew, a lot of them, work for the city. They are working with Pops concerts. They are designers. We have a lot of people who technically put this show together. I'm very proud of everybody that has given their time and their talents to this show. Stand you directly in Antonia's way, when he doth run his course. Antonius, stand directly in the way of Anthony when he runs in the lubrical race. It's actually, word for word, a description of each phrase. It also makes it very accessible to people, and that's the reason to do it. That's the reason the Shakespeare of the Stars has lasted 22 years. She looks quite through the deeds of men. She loves no plays as thou dost, Anthony. She hears no music. Shakespeare for free. 
is really wonderful and there aren't that many cities that can proudly say we do that. Uh, Tucson's one of them. And I hope it continues for many more years. Keep it up, Sheila. Come on now. Zero one. Good. Come on. There we go. It's fun. <laughs> I love volleyball. Nice. I love interacting with my friends. Oh, nice try. I'm a stay-at-home mom. This is my night out. And time away from family, time for me. It's longtime friends. We put a team together and we've been playing out here for, I think, about six years now. Nice one, Mal. Nice. So it's just a good time. All the girls can get together once a week and just be ourselves without the kids. Oh, nice. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> Keep it up, Sheila. Come on now. Sorry. Our team is called Sandcats. And I think mainly we did it because of Arizona Spirit. Nice, Oh, oh yes. what's the line? Woo. Playing in the sand. It's nice and cushiony if you like dive and stuff. <laughs> Got it. I think you can just dive and it really doesn't, you know, it absorbs the impact. <laughs> <laughs> So outdoor beach volleyball is much easier, much nicer on your body. <laughs> the rules out here are pretty much, you know, you call it on yourself. Oh! Uh, you can't set on the serve. No more than three hits. Hitting one-handed in the back row isn't really allowed. Oh! And scoring is up to 11. It's the best two out of three. And we play two teams a night. Nice, nice. You play fair and just play together, have fun. Three zero. Oh. <laughs> there is no I in team, so you have to get along with everybody. You have to work with everybody. It's not just one person. Our team did really good today. We worked together, called the balls, had fun. Very nice game. That's all, that's all it's about is having fun. Nice job, ladies. Get off the couch, Tucson. Get active.